Hello, I am Test Drive, and we have to another episode of Lotus Challenge on the Xbox. And I was starting with the options thing. Oh, I messed up my intro. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, we are going to continue on with the championship mode in this episode, and we are finally off of the classic cars, it seems. Well, classic, the most classic cars. Uh, we were on two just regular B class, in which we have the Esprit Series 2, the Proton Satria GTI, and that appears to be it. Hmm. I kind of want to use the hatchback. I'm not going to lie. Kind of want to use the hatchback. I like how also the livery says default until it loads in and it says UK team. Interesting. Um, let's go with... Let's go with the Spanish team. Why not? Nice uh, red and yellow. And I guess we will continue on with that. And we will... Everything looks right there. Right? Yeah. And we will go, we have Bellingham, London, and Florida. All novice, again, it looks like it might actually be the same exact tracks that we raced on for the previous few episodes. I actually don't know, we'll see, I guess. All right, let's try and get a good launch off of this. Go! Well, I'm still gonna spin the tires, apparently. This fucking hatchback fills up my entire, oh, the third brake light comes on with the headlights. Yep, that's, that's correct. Uh, how do I? There we go. Probably gonna have to use a further view for this because it's it's it fills up my entire camera. Otherwise, it actually fills it up. Oh god, no matter what. But at least I can see around the sides a little bit uh, with the further chase camera. So we'll see how this goes. I bet these will be a little bit faster at least than at least the uh, the slowest or the the B class classic cars. I guess I don't know. We'll see. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hmm, works out for me. I'll take it. I, I would have the headlights on, but it irritates me if the third brake light comes on with it. Ah, shit. Excuse me, coming through. There's an actual lease there, too. Huh. And this must have been right at the beginning, I guess, of the uh, that generation of the Elise, and maybe even Exige. I don't know. I don't know what the Exige looks like that's in this game. I think the Exige did come out in 05, but I guess the Elise, the updated Elise did come out earlier. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm not really too well versed on, uh, oh, teammate, by the way, out. Too well versed on, oh god, Lotuses in general. So, yeah. This is also going to be a pain in the ass, it seems. Uh, I'm already kind of struggling to just get to first place, which kind of sucks. Oh god, dude. <laughs> Oh my god! What in the hell just happened? Ow. Thank you for that. Is this thing rear-wheel drive? I guess it is. I don't know. It feels like it's front-wheel drive. Uh, I'm in last place. That's really cool and good. I'm gonna actually just do this. Maybe... Uh, maybe I might have a little bit of an idea, have a, uh, an idea of how to drive this car. I don't think so. I, I, I think this is going to be a fight for my life. Uh, from here on out, or well, from, I guess, technically the previous episode or two, and out uh, with the faster cars. They don't seem like they're that easy to drive at all, but we'll see. Try and make my way downtown real quick, as fast as I can. Can't see shit, by the way. That was a, uh, oh my god! They pushed me against the wall and I just stopped, what the hell? I guess I should have thought of the fact that the, uh, this generation, oh, there's an older Elise, looks like, as well, that just passed me. Uh, the newer generation of Elise I've also been seeing in this, I think it was also in Project Gotham Racing 2, so that does make sense of, uh, 2003, ow. I still don't think that there's really much of any kind of actual mechanical damage, even though it says there is, so, I don't know. Let's try and take some positions, I guess. See how that goes. Oh my god. And we do only have three laps still. Which doesn't also... Well, I mean, I guess it does help out a little bit because the races aren't going to be super long. But, uh... Oh, jeez. I'm going to bumper... Or, I'm going to this camera for now. We'll do, uh... We'll do some hood cam for this episode. I just can't see anything past this thing whenever I go down that hill. So, I'd like to be able to see something at least. So, we'll try. Is that a Europa, by the way? 
odd car to have, it seems. I also do appreciate that this is also... I know it's on Europa. What the hell is that thing? Oh, shit. Uh, they do have the full tachometer and speedometer in bumper cam, similar to, like, Forza Motorsport and Project Gotham. Or PGR... Did PGR2 have that? I don't remember. I think it did. I don't use bumper cam that much, so I don't remember what games have this feature that I'm trying to talk about. Also, this bastard is in my way. That's a, uh, what is that I called? The Eclat or something? Eclat? Eclat? I don't know. It's a weird Lotus 80s, 90s thing. Alright, we're in first place, which is good. Um, I guess I could change my view back, actually, now. Because we are past the downhill section that I can't see through. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if I can hold my position here. I think this might be front-wheel drive, but I can't tell at all. It kind of seems like it, but I don't know. That worked? Okay. Also, we're back on the babby tracks, which is nice. So I guess there's only a few tracks in this game from this, I, is what I can tell so far, at least. Alright, first place. Starting off, uh, not what I would consider strong, but it was a start, to say the least. Second place got exactly like three minutes and something. Oh, the Excel? You sure it's on a Hyundai Excel? I don't know. Um, we'll actually go to the next race, at least. Since I got, uh, Thumbnail off of the first race for the first episode. We'll maybe do it for the second race in this episode. Do something a little bit different. Because I like having variety in my videos. Okay, la la la, go. Okay. Not the exactly best launching car in the game for sure. But as long as you don't spin the wheels, it seems to be not too incredibly bad. So it's fine. It's whatever. Uh oh, this isn't good. Specifically because I can't get past people. Come on, Kia, get out of my way. Yeah, Kia. Oh, jeez. For those of you who understand why I, I'm saying that about the Elan, I am glad that you're... I Hopefully somebody gets it, at least. If nobody gets it, then I'm going to cry, probably. That's fine. It sounds like this car is to my right. God. This game uh, seems a little, uh, how do you say it, unfinished? Vaguely, like the whole weird sounds thing, the, the physics, the lack of content slash uh, game time padding of longer races. It's just, it just seems a little unfinished, you know, just a little. That's fine. Eh. Oh, god damn it. I'm still in third place, by the way. I have to make moves. Soon. Preferably. Alright. Now, don't fucking push me. Oh, you almost did, little bastard. Oh my god. Whatever. I don't care. Hitting walls doesn't actually do anything in this game, besides make a noise, so <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. At least this car doesn't want to oversteer where like the, the last car did. The little lawn that I was driving the last episode. Alright, come here, you bastard. You will get past. That's from your mom. Let's go quickly, hastily. Hello. That works. I'm no longer afraid to bully people out of my way either. Does this car really have square exhaust tips, by the way? I see those. Hmm. Interesting, to say the least. Ow. I said ow before I even hit the wall. It was a ow preparation. There we go. Second race done. This might be like the shortest episode of the game, actually. Maybe. I don't know if we'll have uh, more races on these. Hey, the Atlanta Sea. 
now available. Neat. And we'll watch a replay. Okay, some of that will work, and we shall save and continue on to our final race into Florida at Novice again, or the Novice layout of Florida. Definitely a lack of content in this game. Not the biggest issue, but it's uh, it's adding on to a list of negatives is the problem. If there was only a few negatives, yeah, it wouldn't make that much of a difference, but... Oh, this is the novice Florida. Yeah, I remember this now. Kind of. Not really. Hello, people. I pass all of you in the first turn. Oh, hello. Did I break my brake light? Nope. It's just clipping, I guess. Hello, Elise. Hello, what did you call? The Excel? I didn't even know that Lotus Excel was a thing. Excuse me, by the way. I really didn't. I guess I know Handy Excel, and that's about it. Oh, we do actually have a bit of a actual loop-de-loop uh, <clears throat> -loop here. I didn't realize that before. I think this is the exact same track I raced on the first episode. I don't know. Something like that. I'm happy to get a, a shorter episode for once, though. The first episode could have been short, but I was busy showing things off for half of it, so... That is why. And also trying to get used to the physics for the first time. Oh, hey. We do go through the Bridgestone tire thing. Neat. My best lap on here is a 147, it looks like. And I almost beat that in the first lap, so we might actually... I didn't look to see what the last two were, but... Might actually beat the uh, the previous laps I've done in other cars. Not too shabby. This car doesn't really feel much faster than the other cars either. So far, performance hasn't really changed that much. Uh, the level of handling I feel like I have on a car has changed, though. A little bit. Not much. Motor trend. Motor trend on the man. I think it's actually motor trend plus now, because they were like... Oh wow, everybody's doing this plus thing? We're gonna do the plus thing. We don't want on-demand anymore. I don't know. I think I have a subscription to it, only because I forgot to cancel it, so... <laughs> I think my dad uses it a lot. I really don't actually even get close to using it myself. I haven't even really been interested in Roadkill, which was the show that I bought it for originally. Oh, well, I'll have to for sure either have my dad pay for it or uh, just cancel it in general. At some point. Maybe I'll do that soon. It's not very expensive, but I'm just, I don't know. If I'm not using it, why would I be paying for it, you know? Oh, God. Please don't do that. Oh, my God, please. Go. Go. Also, speaking of Lotus things I didn't know existed, this hatchback, didn't know Lotus made like a 90s, 2000s hatchback. I'd have to look it up. It's probably just a rebadged car, because that's what a lot of their non uh, Elise slash Exige cars are. Or Spree. Spree is also Lotus. 100% uh, Lotus. I don't know. Again, if anybody has any information on what I'm talking about here, feel free to leave it in the comments, because I'm always interested to learn more about weird cars and things. We are almost done, thankfully. And with that, we are done. Wow, race finished, very nice. Uh, I didn't even look to see if I beat my times or not, but I guess I could look at the video footage, which I probably won't do, because I will absolutely forget. There we go, we got our full 30 points. We got the 98 Elise 111S and the Elise Series 2. Very nice. 
And that appears to be all of that. Sure is. Uh, we'll go ahead and save. I actually finally updated the date and time of my Xbox, so now it might actually tell me I'm in 2022, not 2004. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. We go to our collection. We have a lot more cars unlocked here. Our, uh, our list is definitely filling up pretty quick with unlocked things instead of locked things. So, yeah, I guess that will conclude this episode. Only 16 minutes. Look at that. Short episode. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Lotus Challenge, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.